Tualumba, thank you very much. Mujaga, Tualumba, Galumba, na. Tualumba. Let me acknowledge and respect the family, family of Professor Michel Ohansungule, the immediate family, and the extended family. We acknowledge the presence of the host chief, Chief Mapanza, and the fellow traditional leaders that are here, Southern Province Minister, Cabinet Ministers, host member of Parliament, Honorable Musanje, and other members of Parliament. I'm aware that we have also senior government officials, Mayor of Jomas Moloka Javen, who also comes from this area and the DC's councillors, fellow headmen, community leaders. Let me recognize the legal profession, uh, which basically is the immediate community other than the family, that present, uh, if you like, Professor Hansungule, Michel Hansungule was associated with. UPND leadership, our UPND leadership, without which we would have never formed government in this country, and all our members and members of other political parties. Let me acknowledge members of the press and shall I say nobody him and on Professor Michel Hansungule, really, having lost him, we have lost a great individual, a complete individual. I mean, a thorough human being. We we offer our sincere condolences to the family, immediate family, extended family, and also Mwami Mapanza, Choma, Southern Zambia, Sadiq, Africa, and the global community. I know the global community is mourning with us, mourning Professor Michel Hansungule today.
Professor Nsungule was a true patriot and advocate for justice, no doubt about it. A distinguished human rights expert, as we have heard already, he embodied the essence of an African patriot, not just Wagunawamanda, Namwamapanza, Namujoma, but truly a continental, a continental patriot. I must say that Professor Nsungule loved this country, loved Zambia, worked for Zambia, did things that many were scared to do. He did them. Professor Sungule was truly an advocate for human rights and civil liberties. When he spoke, when he spoke, every time he spoke, he spoke with conviction, he spoke with integrity. He said the truth. It did not matter who listened, who was around, he spoke the truth. During our country's difficult democratic time, he stood up and protected our democracy. He fought injustice, vigorously fought injustice. I can say that, safely say that, Professor Michel Hansungule represented the generation of Zambians who were committed to this country and who worked without any fear of any sort to stand for this country. I remember that in my own difficult times, in my time in jail, in and out, when I was at Mukobeko Maximum Prison together with other detainees, Professor Hansungule campaigned for our release. Professor Hansungule did not fear retribution. He spoke when others were cowed down, he spoke. And we got released. Galimulombwa na mwini mwini uwe. Kulibalombwa na uyu galimulombwa na mwini mwini.
Just as a matter of fact, he hosted a number of meetings in South Africa in his quest to mobilize many for the cause, the cause that I've already mentioned. Professor Ansungule was a lawyer of international repute. No question about that. If you listen to what was said about him, he was able to advance the legal profession, not just in Zambia, South Africa, Sadiq, or Africa, but in the global community. Professor Ansungule was competitive at any platform in the world. Not many can be in that position. Not many. <laughs> Prof. Sungule was a teacher, indeed, a true teacher, bred a lot of lawyers in our country, on this continent, globally. Professor Hansungule contributed to the intellectual property of the legal profession. I must say that the speakers before me have said a lot of cardinal things and I agree with those things. One of the things that I shared with Professor myself when we interacted was to ask those who have gone to school from places like this or any part of Zambia to remember who they are, to know where they came from and not to be ashamed to continue to associate, to take investments back to our villages, to better the lives of those on whose shoulders we stood in order to become who we are in society and in the global community. Remembering who we are, cherishing our heritage, will make us stronger people. Not to anka kubandiga jiguwa waya kwa America, walega kubandiga mwishobo wako, ulabe ya. You cannot forget who you are. Swebo tuenda njika tuimana, but we know where we come from, we know who we are, we know what drives us are the values we learnt as children, upbringing, art of hard work, consistency, honesty. This is what we should remember him for. Nobe nzuma no muli mutauni, mutari jenje yuti mwaka hova mutauni, kumanda mwaso, ino mwaka wakuli, mwaka wai, tamu wile ya bulongo hawa. Kovandiga mwetu wa kovandiga utati, wamba maga nindama. And when we have made an extra income in town, outside of this country, 
I think it's an obligation for us to bring back some of that, that money into the villages, into the areas that raised us. Put up a school, put up a health centre, support water alleviation in a drought year like this as we have had. If many of us did that, we will be able to improve lives in the rural communities. With the solar technology that is here now, we can better the lives of our rural people. Our people will have running water, flush toilets, our people will be able to watch television, our people will be able to have internet in the village, and that will help us to contain rural urban migration. Congestion in town is too much. We can decongest our towns and yet produce food in these localities. If we don't shift, we don't all have to shift, but you can still support those that are in the rural areas to better their lives. That's my core in line with Prof. Michel Hansongule's ideals. Your government, your UPND government will continue to do what it can for the people. That's why the CDF has gone up. That's why we have employed teachers. That's, and we will employ more. We will employ more. That is why we have employed medical staff. That is why we are employing more agricultural extension officers and retaining agricultural extension officers back to the villages. I'm a villager myself. I'm a villager. I understand what it was then, but we as a government will work to better the life in the rural areas, better than what it was 50 years ago. That's our duty. That's our commitment. So, Honorable Musanje, to attend above and through decentralization, taking services closer to the people, now the constituencies have police vehicles. Each constituency, 156 of them. Now, each constituency has a CDF vehicle to monitor developments in the areas. When you are in parliament, developments must continue here in Babala. And the decision, the procurement has already been done to bring ambulances for every constituency, 156 constituencies, so we can rush people to hospital when they need to be taken to a bigger hospital. Agree with you, that journey continues. That's our duty. That's why we chose to be elected in the public office to save the people. Maganai. <laughs>
And I'm here to confirm that Joma here will receive a brand new hospital. That decision has been made, a much bigger hospital, a modern hospital with all the modern facilities, state-of-the-art facilities, Choma Hospital construction will start soon. That's the decision your government has made. So we want to confirm that announcement that soon the construction will start there as we are doing in other parts of Zambia. As our obligation to the nation. I want to ask all of us here and those that are listening through media that drought is not created by a human being. Uh-uh. No. Climate change, drought is his and historic. It's biblical, but your government will work very hard to make sure that our people have food during this drought and also that we increase our resilience through irrigation and other measures. And this is our commitment to the people of Zambia. All I ask our people, let's be strong, let's work together. We shall weather this storm of drought, we shall overcome, and we'll be back on the growth path. My call to the chiefs, Mwami Mapanza, Abama Minyoko, Toa Mahi Mabugu, Ndihi Bugu Mevoguiweoku, Wawano Ngotu Vere Ndimehi Bugu Uyoku, Mezini Ahed Mandela Bantu, Toa Mahi Mabugu Toonse, community leaders, religious leaders, all of us, even political parties, let's hold hands to make sure that our people survive this hunger. We are taking maize back to the depots where we bought the maize. If the maize is not there, please provide a report to a governmental officer near you so that we can address that issue. But let's work together to carry our population through this difficult time.
supplementary programs, social cash transfer, enhanced social cash transfer, cash for work, and many interventions are meant to assist our people so no one dies out of hunger. The way Let's simulate Professor Michel Hansungule's good works. Each one of us can make a contribution, a positive contribution to better society. Prof. Hansungule will be greatly missed by all of us. Professor Hansungule, we end up with Mulombana Ma, Hambani Kache. Opandulu, Hambani Kache, Jambe. <laughs> Professor Ansungulo spent many years in South Africa. That's why I use that uh, Kosa language just to reflect how international he was, yet local. Very, 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 very accomplished individual, indeed. May he so rest in peace. Thank you very much.
members of the PTLC to come through and uh, conduct the board of jury. Thank <laughs> you. 